Hey, it's Steve from the Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Another road trip, heading south, 95 again. Uh, not sure where I'm going. Got a couple of locations, gonna see what's uh, available. Sneak trooper in the middle of the road there. Sheriff, actually. So, bringing you folks along with me, another road trip. Hit a couple of places on the way down, nothing to do with the investigations we're doing, just kind of popping in and saying hello, and on the way down to, I had to do a uh, uh, conference call for the uh, Upper Coastal Plains Broadband Task Force, so that took an hour and a half or so. Of course, I got a million phone calls in the middle, but I got some interesting calls on this trip about some investigations we're going to set up. So we're going to go back to the bourbon distillery. So i got to find out who I'm going to get for that. Put together a small group. Get that under our belt before the uh, Halloween comes up. They're doing a Halloween event, which I don't know if we're going to go to this year. It's kind of hard. It's you know, not like you can investigate. you more just to be present there. So we want to get the investigation done ahead of time. And, uh, a lot of crazy activity there. A lot of good history. So it's been... Uh, Thinking, things are starting to open up as far as we're trying to get more of that sort of thing going. And we will do that one safely. It will be more than just myself, which you've been seeing on all these trips. Where I'm a one-man band. So I have options to either stay just on the border of North Carolina or cross into South Carolina. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. I'm doing a little more research and waiting to hear from a couple of people as I go. not believe I want to hit a place that I've already hit already. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. But uh, trying to get some more information on the locations. People have been pitching us spots and I'm trying to follow up the best I can uh, without literally asking the people at the hotel about these horrific stories. I'm trying to you know, get them upset that we're going to come in and film. But the the reality is it brings people in, it doesn't keep people away. You bring the whole paranormal crowd in. So you can see them at exit uh, 4495, heading south on I-95. I'm going to hit a few little spots along the way. Plus I haven't had anything to eat or drink this morning besides a cup of coffee before I left the house. And then I had to go down to town hall check on the employees, and then, like I said, of course, we had to have a conference call on the road. I, they muted me out like that because of the road noise I was giving them. We're in the Fayetteville area here. I'm probably going to jump on 301. I want to see what's along 301 here. I haven't done that this far down. We've got some fun stuff, too. Stop to pick up some basic supplies, just have some food, something to drink. I found boogers. How can you not travel with boogers? Some kind of candy they had in the store for, I guess, Halloween. So I know exactly who I'm giving that to. It's someone that will have lots of fun with it. As you guys know, the uh, Paracons have been pushed off been pushed off and then pushed off again so now it's uh, April 24th to next year so we're literally just pushing off since the uh, pandemic doesn't seem to go away uh, moved it to October 17th originally thinking we gave ourselves plenty of time and nope not enough even to phase three we can't have anywhere near the crowd we're expecting so but uh, everyone's been great everyone knows it's nothing to do with us you know and even the uh, we did it October 17th. A lot of the keynote speakers can't come. Uh, anyone coming from up north, Pennsylvania, New York, so they'd have to quarantine for 14 days. So that's just not happening. So we just had no choice to move it on, which hopefully gives us more time. Maybe be out of the pandemic phase and be able to you know, really just worry about doing a nice presentation and making sure everyone has a good time, not worrying about hand sanitizer, masks, all that sort of thing. But uh, time will tell. You never know. This has been a crazy year.
traffic's been pretty light so far. I'm seeing some wide loads on the ramp over there. A lot of campers on the road. It's uh, the weather's gorgeous, as you can see. You know, a lot of times we travel, we seem to get stuck in rain. But it's a little on the chilly side, which I love. It's a little bit more comfortable. So it's not it's in the mid 60s right now. It's not terrible. The weather's good. And of course, on my way down, I had to stop at Direct Tool Warehouse. I was good. I didn't buy anything. Just stopped and talked to the guys, see what they had there. They got some new stuff in, but nothing to directly assist us in what we do. But I'm hoping to find something very unique along the way. Like I said, I've got two standbys I can hit, and they'll be okay if they're assuming they're both, you know, accessible. But I'd rather just kind of like find something quirky and unique along the way. So we're going to see what I can find here. on the phone got real dim, very odd. I'm still using that dual app, so sometimes it's actually quirky. At least it's better than just staring at me, at least you get to see the road, get a feel for the travel. Alright, I'll get back on later see uh, where we end up here. I'm going to try to find my way on the 301. I'm not sure which side it's on. I should bring it up on the map. But uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, remember, museums open weekends now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're doing the traveling and investigating the rest of the time, uh, like we're doing today, taking advantage of it. I didn't have a town meeting tonight, so I don't even have to worry about even getting a really great internet connection as far as Zoom, so that works out well too, it opens up my possibilities for really creepy places. But thanks for watching, I'll talk to you all soon.